The Commonwealth Catholic Charities has a, an adoption and pregnancy counseling program. We've had an adoption and pregnancy counseling program since 1923, and it's still growing strong. Um, our staff work with women who are experiencing an unplanned pregnancy. Usually, usually they are in a crisis type of situation. Uh, they just don't feel that this is the right time for them to try to parent and raise their child. I just knew at the point in my life that I became pregnant that I was not ready to be a mother. And um, I knew that I wanted children, um, but I was just not in a position um, mentally, physically. I was very unhealthy in my lifestyle at that time. I was 22. Um, so just making 22-year-old choices. <laughs> um, and. Uh, I knew I had to do something. By the time they enter Commonwealth Catholic Charities, they are usually ready to sit down and listen to all of their options. We discuss with them the option of parenting and definitely try to put a parenting plan together with her. Commonwealth Catholic Charities definitely helped guide me, um, especially in my um, youthful thinking. I. I knew I had to either become a mom or find a family for this baby. With regards to a woman that is pregnant, she should know what all of her options are with regards to trying to, to raise this baby or to at least be a part of this baby's life. So if she's not going to be the ongoing caretaker and provider for this child, she should have the option of choosing the family that she wants to raise this child. Catholic Charities has an adoption program on the flip side of things. And we serve families who typically struggle with some form of infertility or they struggle with getting pregnant or even carrying the pregnancy. Most of them, they have exhausted all of their fertility type of options. And so they have walked through our door with, we are also in a crisis type of situation vastly different, but it's still a crisis to us. We want to grow our family. We want to be a mom and a dad. And so we are here to look at the option of adopting a child. I found a beautiful family. I met them. Uh, they got to know me. They looked me in the eye. They didn't just look at their potential child, which was very important to me. Um, we became friends. They're just really loving, loving people, and I'm just pleased to be a part of their family in a way. Once I uh, went to labor, they were the first to know. Um, they met me at the hospital. The adoptive mom got to be in the room with me, and she held my left knee, I'll never forget. I really wanted her to experience what it was like to be the mother. Um, so my choice was for her to hold Noah first. Uh, so they got that skin to skin um, immediate uh, bonding, which was very, very important to me and to them, of course. Um, and at no point did the adoptive family request anything like that from me. They were very open to my wishes. Um, and I think in that, it encouraged me to give them more and more and more. Depending on what her immediate needs are and perhaps have been throughout the counseling process, um, we definitely make sure that mom and baby are safe. Um, if it is a housing situation, we do the very best that we can. Whatever facility or entity is in the area of where she lives, we try to connect her with the resources that she needs to make sure, again, that baby and mom are safe. If she struggles with other mental health or emotional issues that go beyond just pregnancy and adoption counseling, Commonwealth Catholic Charities has licensed clinical social workers here on staff that we refer her to. Sometimes we will even set up that first appointment for her um, with one of our staffed counselors um, to make sure that she is getting the full treatment that she needs. 
Our agency in Richmond has a Richmond baby clothes closet and we serve babies and toddlers up to about 2T, 3T. Again, making sure that mom has what she needs at least throughout the first several months, whether it's diapers and wipes, clothing, bottles. We have a food pantry at the agency as well, and so there has been many, many times when I have um, used that service and made sure that not only was mom going home with formula diapers and wipes, but she was also going home with, you know, a box of cereal and some peanut butter and a can of tuna fish to make sure that she had some food because she needs to be nourished as well. Um, all of our services to all of our moms, no matter what decision that she makes, um, are free services. We do not charge. She does not pay any type of initiation, counseling, post-placement fee, nothing. If she places the child for adoption, we don't just stop services to her. We would do the exact same for her as if she were even parenting making sure that she is safe, making sure that she has housing or at least shelter, making sure that her mental health is taken care of if she needs additional or more intensive therapy. I still get to see Noah um, uh, about every six months to a year. I try to make sure that I let them have their life um, because ultimately they gave me my life so uh, uh, that I get to live every day. Uh, and they would say the same. So um, we both gave each other the biggest gift possible. A mom who is able, no matter what her age and what her circumstance, she is able to see beyond herself and look at a tiny little human that she helped to create and know that maybe there is something better out there for this little person at this moment in time. And for her to be able to swallow the biggest, baddest horse pill of all and say, I'm not that person to do this job is the most humbling experience for me. It's not about whether you want this child or not. Um, it's about what is going to be best for this precious being.